I just want to share with you this quick video because I was just off the phone with a client and I want you to consider this to be a case study. Twice this week has happened where a client's reached out to me and said, Claudio, I've been chasing this vendor and I've left him you know, voicemail messages, I've sent him a couple of text messages and I've also sent an email and I'm still getting like crickets, zero, nada. Same thing with another client. In the reverse, trying to get buyers to come to a property this weekend after it's had a considerable price adjustment and he's only got one week left to sell this property before it goes to another agent because it's been on the market for about three months now. So my thing is, what can you do that's going to be different and it's going to actually create someone to stop and think? You see, today we're living in a, in a market where you know, people are getting saturated by emails and text messages and voicemails and phone calls. And what tends to happen is there's a lot of noise. And because everybody's doing the same thing, including you as an agent, what tends to happen right now is very, very simple, is you're not getting a call back. People are just ghosting you. So how can you trigger the curiosity of someone and disrupt the expected? Well, here's the thing. One of the things that I teach our clients is very, very simple. You've got to keep it simple, not complex, but enough for them to get them to understand that it's going to be something different. Let me give you a quick example of what we did with this current client where she had just one week to sell the property and try to re-energize, recreate the buyer excitement on this property, but not just go back to the, the buyers and go, oh, we've had a price adjustment. Would you like to come through this weekend? Let us know if you're interested. It was almost like a text message that said, price reduction alert, a, a few key features and benefits of the property, no property address. The moment you put a property address on anything, it's forget it. They'll go online, they go, oh, that's the one we've already seen. Um, maybe that's not for us. Um, not really gonna you know, spark their curiosity, so to speak, or spark their attention. So you just put a couple of features and benefits, land size, how many bedrooms, etc. Maybe put on there, locate in one of the most sought after streets in Smithville, and then right at the end, all you say, if you'd like to know more, shoot me a quick reply and I'll give you the details. That is it, right? So when she sent that, she goes, Claudio, I sent it to 25 people, 17 people responded. What is the address? Which property was it? Um, what was the price? What has it been reduced to? That is what I'm calling being different. Don't be the same. Be the opposite of similar. Because in this marketplace, if you really want to be memorable, you've got to start doing things differently. If you keep doing it the same way as everybody else, thinking, I'll oh, just pump out some more texts, I'll oh, just make some more phone calls, all you're focusing on is the things that you're flawless in. And that is sparking people's attention. There's a great saying, stop trying to get people's attention and start doing things that's worth paying attention to.